There's no easy way to say this, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. Gentlemen, it would appear our sperm counts are dropping. A lot. That's according to a new meta-analysis of studies that have looked at sperm counts from men in Western countries going all the way back to 1973. The study found that the average total sperm count has dropped by over 59%, while the average concentration of sperm has dropped by over 52%. Now, I know that might be hard to hear, and denial is a natural response. Even the lead researcher said it was hard to believe. But unfortunately, it looks like the study's pretty solid. There have been meta-analyses of sperm count studies in the past, but critics have never been satisfied with them. One such meta-analysis from 1992, known as the Carlson study, looked at 61 studies and also found sperm counts were dropping. But critics say the Carlson study is flawed because one of the studies it used contributed 30% of the participants, disproportionately skewing the results. Even with this significant flaw, the authors of the latest meta-analysis describe the Carlson study as a seminal paper on sperm count, which is the funniest joke I've ever heard a scientist make, and I wish I thought of it. Anyway, with their latest paper, these smart Alex sought to correct the Carlson study's misfires. They drew their data from 185 studies, the largest of which contributes only 5% of the participants. The study used data from almost 43,000 men who were well distributed across nearly 40 years and 50 countries. The studies were chosen because the men in them were not having having their sperm counted because of infertility issues. And the analysis accounted for tons of factors like age and how long the men had gone since they last, you know, gave a sample, so to speak. Even with this ultra-conservative approach, the results look bad. In 1973, the average sperm concentration was 99 million per milliliter. As of 2011, it had dropped to 47 million per milliliter. That's not too far from the point when odds of conception start to take a hit, the 40 million mark. And there's more bad news. The rate of decline doesn't seem to be showing any signs of slowing. Now, the question I'm sure you're asking is, why? What's causing such a remarkable drop-off? And that's a question a study like this can't answer. The authors speculate it may be due to increased exposure to certain chemicals like pesticides, lead, or fire retardants, both before birth and as an adult. Sperm count can be affected by stress, obesity, and smoking, too. It's even known to fluctuate based on season and climate, leading one scientist unconnected to the study to speculate that global temperature increase could be a contributor. As if there weren't enough reasons to worry about climate change, apparently it might be cooking our huevos, too. This new study isn't perfect, of course, and skeptics have noted that the original studies that it drew from didn't account for men's health and lifestyles, both factors that can impact sperm count. So there could be some variability there. And sperm count methodology has not been standardized across countries. Still, other scientists have said that for a definitive answer on declining sperm count, this is as close as we're going to come. To repeat though, this is just really strong evidence that there is a decline, and a pretty alarming one at that. But the cause or causes are still very much unknown. For the continued propagation of the human race, more research and sperm is needed. Sperm isn't just useful for baby making, it may have medical uses too, like delivering cancer drugs. Check out Trace's video here for the craziest friggin' thing I've ever heard. All right, guys, are you worried about this news or are you confident in your frosted mini-me's? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Seeker.